Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with my makeup basket for the month. Sorry I'm a little late on this. Had some stuff that had to go up beforehand, you know, the usual, but I'm gonna go over what I had last month and then I'm gonna show you what I'm working on this month. Well, working on, I'm using to kind of rotate through my collection while I also pan. So here was my uh, palette for the month. This is the Lorac Mega Pro 4 and I forgot how much I freaking love Lorac shadows. <laughs> Because I have been panning them for like 8,000 years and I've now gotten to like the last couple that <sighs> doggy hair. I had forgotten that I actually really like this formula. I know not it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's really soft and I'm kind of an eyeshadow stabber personally. So I can't go for the super soft shadows like the Anastasia Beverly Hills because I will just wreck that palette. But I really enjoyed using this. I used a several different shades actually i didn't use all of them obviously because it's a gigantic palette but i had a lot of fun with it and it's definitely staying in my collection not that that was any sort of curiosity actually everything in here is staying in my collection this month i'm not decluttering anything which is kind of cool next i actually pulled out a blush palette this time this is the Too faced love flush long lasting 16 hour blush wardrobe I used all of these, but How Deep Is Your Love, I think. That was just, that one I just didn't really use this month, but I do really like this formula, but I've never bought a full size because I instead bought the palette when it came out in 2016, I believe. I think it was like early 2016. I really like that, and I think they should come out with it again and just make it like a permanent thing. I have a highlighter duo. This is the Vintage by Jessica Liebskin, I think is how you say it. I bought this from a friend of mine, so I bought it used, but I did enjoy it. So I would definitely be hanging on to that. Let's see what else we got in here. We have a cream blush. I'll go with the cream blush first. This is the Butanix Beauty Blush Serum. This is super pigmented. I was not quite as prepared as I thought I was going to be for that. Oh, I just got a big old bubble of it. Let's start to stuff some of that back in there. Because <laughs> uh, you don't need a lot. Like that little bit right there would definitely do at least one of my cheeks, but I just wanted to swatch it for you. It's definitely more of a probably what what is it called spring shade that's what i'm trying to say but i did enjoy it i also had this do briar eyeshadow pencil that i did use i used it today actually but if you're into cooler toned shades shades not shades this is really pretty and the formula does seem to be nice so i will happily keep that and I have this little eyeshadow duo from Smashbox. It is turned. It is the Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo, turned on and psyched. Psyched. I do like a Smashbox's eyeshadow formula. I have another duo like this from one of their palettes. But holding on to that. You can see, I think all we got left is lipsticks and this, what's it called? Uh, concealer. So I'll go over the concealer first. I wound up really liking this concealer. It is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Actually, one day, just as a very, very basic, like, I never do that basic of makeup normally, but uh, I did it for this day. I just concealed on my face, like, no foundation or anything, and this worked really, really well for that. And it does work nicely under the eyes, too. Mine is in the shade Porcelain. I think this is the lightest shade that they have, unless they make, like, a white. Uh, let's see. Um, a couple of y'all asked what I was wearing when I wore this. This is my MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. This was my uh, Back to MAC purchase. I really like that. That's me finding a really good, that works for me, nude. Here we have the Revlon Lip Butter in a Red Velvet. I do really like these. I wish they hadn't gotten rid of them, but I know it's like the time for the lip butter type products has passed. Here we have a Milani and Chilled Berry. This is the original Milani formula. And I really like how these smell. Like they're very like Jolly Rancher smelling. It's the top one right there. I did like that. 
And we have the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Beeper. And this, this grew on me as I wore it throughout the day. So, oh, it, it dripped. I've never seen him do that before. There it is. I thought it was going to be like too dark of a brown for me, but it actually worked out. It, my lips brought out a little bit of the pink that is in it, so it wound up working. I prefer, well, I won't say I prefer, I like the, the Ultra Matte and the Ultra Satin Lip formulas for different reasons, and I don't like them for different reasons. Uh, this one does not budge, but it is hella drying, and the Ultra Satin formula is definitely far less drying, but it stays like tacky throughout the day, and it kind of drives me crazy. So let's see what we have for this month. My palette, because I try to rotate in like my bigger palettes to get some use out of them even while I'm panning other things. This is something that I bought ages ago when it when they popped up with some of my local CVS. This is the MUA Professional Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. I remember when these came out, a couple of people were giving them good reviews and I've never heard of them since, but you know, always chasing the biggest and bestest new thing. So this is kind of a jewel toned palette. Well, not kind of, this really is like a jewel toned palette. And as far as I can tell, the shades are really pretty. Now, blue is not great, but I can work with it. So we're gonna see how that works out. Here are all the shades, by the way. It does come with a brush, but the brush is a piece of crap, so we're just, we're gonna set that aside to throw away. Because I tried to swatch with a brush earlier while I was just goofing around with it, and I could not get that brush to pick up anything. Next, we have something that I hauled recently that I want to play with. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Pearl. As you can see, I definitely got my highlight on today. I went a little crazy with it, honestly. But, uh, okay, we're gonna swatch with one of these fingers. It's so creamy. I love to play with it, but I need to make myself actually, like, wear it. And it definitely, sorry for the awkward swatch, but it has, like, a pink shift to it that I think is really pretty. And, you know, I, I, I'm hella white, so I like that they put out, like, a pearl shade. Now this I grabbed. I'm almost done with my Wet n Wild powder, so I figured I could play with this. This is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. Uh, you guys, if you follow me for a while, you know I'm not the hugest fan of loose setting powders. I just, I'm lazy. I, I think they're messy. And I've never found one good enough to make me want to deal with the mess. The only thing close is the e.l.f. under eye setting powder that I do happen to like. But usually, but I have a lot of stuff around that works that is pressed. So a friend of mine gave me this in a swap. So I think, actually, I think, I think I haven't even pulled the seal off yet. Yeah, like the seal's still on there, thankfully. But uh, I'm going to try it all over my face. I'm going to try it under my eyes. I'm more willing to fool with a loose powder if it's just under my eyes because it less mess overall, but we'll see how it goes. I'm also not a baker, by the way, and I've tried it in the past with a loose setting a loose setting powder that I had and it was miserable, but I'll try it again for that and we'll see how it goes. Mm, I have a brow product this month because I hauled that um us four favorites kit and it came with the Anastasia Brow Wiz that I've always wanted to try. So you got the product on this end and you got the spoolie on this end. People have been complaining lately that their spoolies have been breaking off but mine so far seems to be nicely in place. I pull the wrong end off all the time to start like fooling with it. Let's get you a little swatch going right here. There she is right. Why do I have these awkward swatches right there? And you can roll it up and down. I love that in a product. You don't have to worry about rolling it up and then it getting stuck. Uh, because I finally finished off my, what's it called? Uh, color tattoo, I figured I could play even more with my uh, eyeshadow bases. And I can't, I had two in here, but I sure as hell can't find one of them right now. I must have set it somewhere. But uh, I, I got this in that favorites kit too. No, wait, this is the other one. I also had the Bobbi Brown one that I got in the favorites kit, but I sure don't. There it is. It rolled away. Here it is. So first, this one that I got as a Sephora 20, you know, you spend 25 bucks, you get a deluxe sample. That's what I got this with. This is an all natural caviar stick eye color. 
or maybe the color is all natural. It's a matte one, and that's why I was interested in it. But there it is right there. It's, it looks a little dark when you put it on like full blast, but if you take the time to blend it out a little bit, it gets a lot lighter. So definitely interested in playing with that. And like I said, we have the Bobbi Brown Longwear in uh, gold and pink. This is gorgeous. I'm so excited to play with this. Now I had a Bobbi Brown one in the past, but it was like a super dark brown that I never touched. So I ended up getting rid of it. So there it is right there on the bottom. It looks so pretty. I have two single eyeshadows. This is a Nomad eyeshadow in Marrakesh Desert Sands. Always left me a gold, so I figured I could bust this out. It's definitely an orangey gold, but I like it. And we have a L'Oreal Color Riche eyeshadow in Teal Couture. Her, she is right there. They feel super soft, but I thought they were more pigmented than this. Like, when I've seen people swatch them when they came out, they looked insane, but... Like, it's still very pretty, don't get me wrong, but you kind of have to build it up a lot more than I was expecting, so... We shall play with that and see. I have a powder and a cream blush. This is something that I bought from a blog sale. This is a MAC Casual Color Lip and Cheek Color, so you can wear this on the lips, too. In Young at Heart, and... You know, definitely more spring, but I, I've had it for a while, so I want to use it. I stuck a brush in it at one point. That's why it has like a little divot in there. This seems like it would be sticky. Hmm? There it is. Well, we'll play with that. We'll see how it goes. I know that these are impossible to finish, but I figured I could have it and play with it until it goes bad and then back to mac it and then we have a be a bombshell blush in beach please it actually looks like it matches that oh yeah that is like the exact same color Let's see. we have a concealer this is the l'oreal infallible pro glow concealer uh, the day that I used this all over my face, I used this under my eyes, and I liked how it looked, but I haven't really played with it too much. Mine is in the shade... It doesn't say, but I remember hunting around for the lightest shade that I could find. And that looks too dark, but once it's blended out on my face, it looks alright. So, and finally, I have four lip colors. And I was looking at my stuff today and I was like, this would actually go really well with the eyeshadow look that I have on right now. This is an e.l.f. Um, this is e.l.f. in Mulberry Maven. This is one of those matte lip colors that they have in like the little long tubes. I found a bunch of these at the Dollar Tree a couple of months ago. And snatched like several of them up. And the other one of these that I have is in Rich Red. I've always thought about buying tea rose, but I never do. And that is a very pretty red right there. And I just finished my Bite Beauty lipstick, so I don't feel bad about using a red for my collection. Next is an Ulta Matte Lip Crayon in Raspberry Rose. Definitely more on the nude side right there. And finally, another thing from that Sephora Favorites kit. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Sellout. I've never tried their their liquid lipsticks. Let's see. I definitely. Does anybody else know what I mean when I say that liquid lipstick smell? It's like like it definitely smells a little bit like they tried to put in some you know cake batter or something like that. But I definitely smell like that makeupy liquid lipstick smell that is there with a lot of them. And if I can move my watch down, you can see the swatch right there. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.